Hey, welcome back. So we are going through an Azure Administrator Associate examination training. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this examination course. So we are at module four. Module four is all about virtual networking. And in this video, we're going to talk about Azure DNS. Let's have a high level look into what are the things we are going to learn on this video. We're going to talk about domains and custom domains. And how can you verify these custom domain names? And what is Azure DNS zone? And how can you delegate these DNS zones? And what about the record sets within Azure DNS? And we will talk about the private domains and uh, the private domains and a couple of other scenarios where you could use the private domain scenarios. So throughout this topic, whenever it is relevant, I will take you back to the Azure portal to show you what I'm talking about, so it makes sense to you. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's learn about domains and custom domain names. By default, when you create an Azure subscription, an Azure AD domain is created for you. This instance of the domain has initial domain name, in the form of domain name dot on Microsoft dot com. So let me show you where you can find the initial domain name. I'm on my Azure portal. And I'm inside my Azure Active Directory. Under manage, if you scroll down, you can find custom domain names. As you can see that there is a domain name with on Microsoft dot com associated with it. So the initial domain name while fully functional is intended primarily to be used as a bootstrapping mechanism until a custom name is verified. So what is a custom domain name? If you notice, I have registered my domain with a custom domain as well. You can do this by going into add a custom domain and provide your custom domain name. Although the initial domain name of the directory can't be changed or deleted, you can add any routable custom domain you control. This simplifies the user sign-in experience by allowing user to log in with credentials they are familiar with. For example, a contessogold.onmicrosoft.com could be assigned to a simpler custom domain called contessogold.com or contessogold.com. In my case, it's silverlabs.ml. So let me tell you some practical information about domain names. Only a global administrator can perform domain management tasks in Azure AD. By default, this is the user who created the subscription. And domain names in Azure AD are globally unique. If one Azure AD directory has verified a domain name, then no other Azure AD directory can verify or use that same domain name. So before a custom domain name can be used by Azure AD, the custom domain name must be added to your directory and verified. This is covered in the next topic when I'm going to talk about how to verify a custom domain name. All right, so let's learn about verifying a custom domain name. When an administrator adds a custom domain name to an Azure AD, it is initially in an unverified state. Azure AD will not allow any directory resources to use an unverified domain name. This ensures that only one directory can use a domain name and the organization using the domain name owns that domain name. So let me show you how to add a custom domain name. So I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to go back to Azure Active Directory. You can perform the same activity on your admin.microsoft.com, which is the Microsoft 365 admin portal as well. So right under settings, you would be able to find a custom domain names. Even though mine is verified with a custom domain name, I can add multiple domain names to my tenant. So I'm going to go and add a custom domain name. I'm going to add a custom domain name called az104domain.com. Click on add the domain. 
right so after adding the custom domain name you must demonstrate ownership of the domain name this is called verification and it is done by adding the dns which is mx or tex that is provided by azure into your company's dns zone once this record is added azure will query the dns domain for the presence of the record this could take several minutes or several hours if azure verifies the presence of the domain record it will then add the domain into your subscription so now this is the place where you copy these text and mx values and register in the place where you own the domain it could be godaddy it could be any other domain provider that is where you have to verify all right so let's understand azure dns zones azure dns provides a reliable secure dns service to manage and resolve domain names in a virtual network without you needing to add a custom dns solution a dns zone host the dns record for a domain so it start hosting your domain in azure dns you need to create a dns zone for that domain name each dns record for the domain is then created inside the dns zone so let me quickly show you how to create a dns zone i'm on my azure portal i'm going to type in dns zone on this on this global search box and select the dns zones as you can see i don't have any dns zones at the moment i'm going to create a new dns zone so first step is to select a resource group i'm going to select az104 and an option is to so i have an option to add this zone as a child of an existing zone already hosted in azure dns so i don't have that at the moment so otherwise i can select that and select the parent zone so in this instance the one which i'm going to create is going to be the parent zone so the dns name i want to have is az104dns.com and the resource group is where it is located is australia east so the dns is going to be hosted there so i'm going to click on review create right so now you understand that from the portal you can easily add a dns zone and then view information including name the number records resource group location which is always global and subscription and the name servers so as you can see that i have four name servers available already for this dns all right so some of the consideration for azure dns zones are the name of the zone must be unique within the resource group and the zone must not exist already another consideration is same zone name can be reused in different resource group or different azure subscriptions where multiple zones share the same name each instance is assigned different name server addresses and the last consideration is only one set of addresses can be configured with the domain name registrar and please note that you do not have to own a domain name to create a dns zone with the domain name in azure dns however you do need to own the domain to configure the domain to delegate your domain to azure dns you first need to know the name server names for your zone each time a dns zone is created azure dns allocates name servers from a pool once the name servers are assigned azure dns automatically creates authoritative ns records in your zone so the easiest way to locate the name servers assigned to your zone is through this azure portal in this example you can see that ns1- for azure dns.com and ns2 ns3 and ns4 are the four dns name servers for you once the dns zone is created you have the name servers and you need to update the parent domain please note that when delegating a domain to azure dns you must use the name server names provided by the azure dns 
you should always use all four name servers regardless of the name of your domain. Then we have the child zone. If you want to set a separate child zone, you can delegate a subdomain in Azure DNS. So setting up a subdomain follows the same process as typical delegation. The only difference is that NS records must be created in the parent zone. The parent and the child zones can be in the same or different resource group. All right, so let's talk about the DNS record sets. It is important to understand the difference between DNS record sets and individual DNS records. A record set is a collection of records in a zone that have the same name and are of the same type. You can access the record set on top of your DNS zones. When you click on the record set, you can add up to 20 records of any record sets. A record set cannot contain two identical records. And empty record sets with zero records can be created as well. But do not appear on Azure DNS name server. So the add record set page will change depending on the type of record you select. For an A word, you will need a TTL or time to leave an IP address. As you can see that for a, for a C name, it changes to TTL and TTL unit. For an SRV, it requests you to put in priority, weight and port as well. Let's understand the DNS for private domains. By using private DNS zones, you can use your own custom domain name rather than the Azure provided name available today. Using custom domain name help you tailor your virtual network architecture to best suit your organization's need. It provides name resolution for virtual machines within a virtual network and between the virtual network. Additionally, you can configure zone names with a split horizontal view, which allows a private and public DNS to share the name. All right, so now we understand Azure DNS, what it means for. Let's look at some of the benefits of Azure DNS. Azure DNS removes the need for custom DNS solutions. Previously, Many customers created custom DNS solutions to manage DNS zones in their virtual network. You can now perform DNS zone management by using the native Azure infrastructure, which removes the burden of creating and managing custom DNS solutions. And Azure DNS uses all common DNS record types. Azure DNS supports A, Pod A, C name, MX, PTR, SOA, SRV, and text records types. And Azure DNS supports automatic host name record management. Along with hosting your custom DNS records, Azure automatically maintains host name records for the VMs in the specified virtual networks. In this scenario, you can optimize the domain name you use without needing to create a custom DNS solution or modifying applications. And Azure DNS provide host name resolution between virtual network as well. Unlike Azure provided host names, private DNS zones can be shared between virtual networks. This capability simplifies cross network and service discovery scenarios such as virtual network pairing. And Azure DNS provides familiar tools and user experience. To reduce the learning curve, this new offering uses well-established Azure DNS tools, such as PowerShell, Azure Resource Manager template, and REST APIs to give you that management experience. And Azure DNS use split horizon DNS support as well. With Azure DNS, you can create zones with same name that resolves to different answers from within a virtual network and from a public internet. 
A typical scenario for split horizon DNS is to provide a dedicated version of a service for use inside your virtual network. And finally, Azure DNS is available in all Azure regions. The Azure DNS private zone feature is available in all Azure regions in Azure Public Cloud. Now that we have learned about Azure DNS and what are the benefits of Azure DNS, in the next lesson, we're going to go through the review question on the previous module. The module we were going through was called Virtual Networking. That's the fourth module of Examination AZ-104. And we have completed four lessons within this fourth module. So let's go and check our knowledge based on what we have learned so far. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.